This video will discuss the Van t Hoff equation for the temperature dependence of equilibrium constants. So in a previous video from several chapters ago, we looked at the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation, which tells us that the partial derivative of our standard reaction Gibbs energy with divided by temperature with respect to temperature. So this is the partial derivative of delta R G naught over T with respect to T. At constant pressure is equal to the negative standard enthalpy change of reaction divided by the temperature squared. So we'll remind ourselves that delta R G naught of a specific temperature equals minus RT log KP at that temperature. So log KP at a given temperature is minus 1 over R times delta R G naught over T. So if we look at how this changes versus temperature, so partial derivative of both sides, we have D log KP of T dT equals from the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation, uh, the partial derivative of this with respect to temperature is equal to this. So we have minus 1 over R times minus delta H over T squared. So that gives us a positive delta H of reaction over RT squared. So now if we multiply both sides by DT, we have the change in the natural log of the equilibrium constant equals the enthalpy change of reaction divided by RT squared times the change in the temperature. So we have everything that depends on KP over here, everything that depends on T over here. So we can do an integration now uh, where we have this separation of variables. We're going to integrate from the log of KP at T1 to the log of KP at T2. And over here we have the integral from T1 to T2 with going from temperature 1 to temperature 2 of delta H of reaction over RT squared integrated with respect to temperature. So the integral of d log k is just log k. So we get log kp t2 minus log kp t1, which is the log of the equilibrium constant at temperature 2 divided by the equilibrium constant at temperature 1. This equals the integral of, of minus, sorry, the integral of 1 over t squared is minus 1 over t. So this gives us minus the enthalpy change of reaction divided by R, which are constants we can pull out, times 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1. And this is all assuming that our enthalpy change of reaction is fairly constant from T1 to T2. If we're doing this over a moderate range of temperatures, that's a pretty good approximation. If we're doing it over a very large range of temperatures, it's probably uh, not that great of an approximation but a few tens of kelvins, it's probably pretty reasonable. Okay, so what this tells us is that the log of the equilibrium constant is proportional to the inverse of the temperature. So if we plot, if we get the equilibrium constant at a bunch of different temperatures, and we plot log k versus 1 over t, the slope of that equation is going to be the negative enthalpy of reaction, or standard enthalpy of reaction, divided by temperature. If we, know the, if we know the equilibrium constant at one temperature, we can get it at another temperature by saying that the log of Kp at temperature 2 is equal to the log of Kp at temperature 1 plus 1 over R times the integral from T1 to T2 of the enthalpy change of reaction divided by T squared. So as I mentioned here, this equation is assuming that the enthalpy change of reaction is constant during this temperature range. And if we're not confident that it's, com that it's uh, constant during that range, we can just leave it inside the integral and build up what that enthalpy change is as a function of temperature and then do the integral that way. So either way, whether we're doing so over a region of small temperature change or large temperature change, the Van t Hoff equation using the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation as its basis allows us to get the temperature dependence of the equilibrium constant which we can either use to find the enthalpy change of the reaction or we can use to find the, the equilibrium constant at another temperature of our choosing.